Hi everyone! So we're going to make a tag book tonight. Um, so this is going to be really lovely. I've been looking forward to doing this. So um, yeah, come and join us. And um, we're using for the first time our brand new clear gesso so this is a brand new launch for this uh, i've been wanting to do this for such a long time and i wish i'd done it before because it's so good stuff um so i've got some super smooth stamping card here and i normally say it's it's great for stamping but it's not great for loads of water um but with clear gesso over it it's great it's perfect it's really good you'll see how the paint just sits on the surface and you can move it about and do so much more with it and add layers and it just works so well so you can actually put this on to protect any layers underneath it so if you're working in your journal and you just want to protect that layer before you go on the top um, just put another uh, layer of gesso on clear gesso so as you can see it goes on white but it becomes completely and utterly flat matte and clear okay uh, wash your brush in just plain water and you're good to go so that's the, uh, the clear there um, I have actually got one um, already done I'm actually doing both sides uh, let me just dry this one off just blown away all of my prep <laughs> off the table. There we go, that'll do. That's lovely. Almost dry, but that'll do. Okay, so um, I'm going to um, use some matte paints tonight. So I'm going with Tanhouse Teal, um, Rouge and banana custard so i'm just going to get my little pots out and as you know i don't know why you can't see comments but um carolyn and joe have joined us and oh. fiona's on youtube hi thanks for joining us nice to see you all so you all you all <laughs> thought you'd move to texas for a minute <laughs> I don't think that could be classed as a Texan accent, Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I would get complaints from the Texans about that. <laughs> and that's our twin, isn't it? Our twin town. What's it called? Our twin town. You should know that. I don't know. Oh, come on. Your mum and dad have been over a couple of times, haven't they? They have. Okay, so uh, lovely colours, very spring-like. I'm in a spring sort of mood. So um, I'm just going to get a wet brush, very, very wet brush. Got Anne Riley Davis here as well. Oh, hi, Anne. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. And um, I did this demo the other day, but we never got a chance to finish it. So this is why I'm, I've brought it back. Okay, so I'm putting plenty of, and you can see how it's sitting on the surface, the paint. Um, and then I'm going to come in with our banana custard. And of course, it will mix with that townhouse teal and give me that gorgeous green colour. Just going to clean my brush a little bit so that I don't um, contaminate the rest of that banana custard. Let's get some in there and let's finish off with a bit of rouge which is a really nice pink and then i'm just gonna mix that into the banana custard there lovely um then i've got another piece of card well this is the piece you've just seen me um, coat with clear gesso and i'm going to wet this card and I'm going to just wet the paint. I've just painted on top of that clear gesso the simplest background ever. So this is great for beginners who have never done any mixed media before and they just want to have a go. This is so simple. And I would say do it on A4 sheets of card. 
Isn't that lovely? Look at that. Lovely swirls and it's just gorgeous. I like that a lot. Okay, so leave those to dry. Somewhere safe. And I'm just going to put my brush in water and just give me itself a little bit of clean up because I need to use this palette. I've got a paint mat here, this is what I'm using here and um, I'm going to show you how to use our gilding gum. That's just going to dry over there. Okay, so gilding gum, really, really fantastic product. So you can use this to make um, gilding waxes. Um, I have got tons of different colours of these. Look, so it doesn't, however many luscious you own, that's however many gilding waxes you're going to own because all you need to do is mix gilding gum and luscious and you'll make your gilding wax. It's not strictly a wax, I have to say, but that's what that's what we're calling it. Okay, so all these lovely colours you can make with your beautiful gilding gum. Right, how do we do this? Let me just use, um, let's go with this copper because this one I wanted to show you. If you uh, have made yours up and it thickens up a little bit, this is a nice consistency, but if you want it to be a little bit thinner, all you have to do is just add more gilding gum to the mix. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me with that? <laughs> I've just splurted gilding gum across the desk. Okay, and we're going to mix this in with um, Miss Money Penny. So, if you're just starting off afresh, just get some of your gilding gum in a little pot. We do actually have lots of these little pots available for you. But just have a look around your craft room. I bet you've got some little empty pots that you can use. And give it a good mix. And then, oh, oh. Let me just open this. You get loads and loads in. If you buy the kit, you get loads in here. But this is just luscious. Um, what is luscious? Luscious is um, pigment. So this is copper pigment. We also put mica powder in here and we add a binder as well. So luscious can be used in lots and lots of different ways, mixed in with your resin, um, with water to make a watercolour, um, with your mediums to colour any of your mediums, your um, paste, anything like that. But now you can mix it with your gilding gum to make a gorgeous, beautiful gilding wax. So I'm going to put some more in here because I want it quite thick because I'm also going to show you how you can actually stencil with it and it's up to you how thin or thick you make it because if you want to use it with a brush do some dry brushing that's simple as well if you want to do some stenciling like I'm doing I'm going to make this really nice and thick let me just grab that there as well don't want to waste any of that few people are liking the new time oh good that's great yeah we thought um well all the people who work um it gives you enough time to have your dinner and if you've got young children get those off to bed and um yeah that's great so caroline has just joined and can't remember what the gilding gum is for can you just okay so gilding gum I've actually done this with Luscious, but now that we've got gilding gum, it's like making your own gilding wax. So if you own any Luscious, it means that you can make gilding gum of that colour. So if you've got five different colours of Luscious, that's how many different gilding gums you can make. But not only that, you can actually mix the colours. So if you have a blue and a yellow, you're going to end up with a green. 
um, and so on. So um, you can mix them all together. So all of a sudden, all the luscious that you own means that you can make your own gilding wax, which is brilliant. And you can make it as thin or as thick as you like. So if you want to just do a little bit of dry brushing like this, let me just get a little bit off here and just I've just got um, a piece here that I've black gessoed so I've just stuck on some odd bits and I'm just going to dry brush over the top see isn't that fab oh I love it this is a, a lovely copper one that comes in the steampunk set. Um, or if you've got Miss Money Penny, this is what this is. Oh, that looks so gorgeous. This is not the demo for tonight. Oh, I just got off to a. <laughs> distracted. Distracted, <laughs> yes. Lee's just asked when stenciling, how long is drying time? Oh, it's really quite quick because of um, the makeup of it. So it depends on the temperature, humidity and all of that. But I would say under normal circumstances, 20 degree um, temperature um, depends on how thick it is, but maybe 10 minutes, half an hour, depending. More on the 10 minute side, I would have said. Anyway, so there you have your gilding wax. Um, it's not literally a wax because of the way we've made it, but it just makes it so wonderful that all of your lushes can become a gilding wax. And of course you can mix the colors. So, um, okay, stop playing with that, Kay. Get on with the demo. <laughs> okay, so that's that. What I wanted to do was show you how to move these. move up a bit on the mat. Yeah, let me just put some clean recycled paper there, then it's not distracting. Okay, so um, I thought I would show you how to use it with stenciling. The other thing is you don't have to buff this when it's um, being put on. Um, you don't have to polish it or anything like that. Um, and it's totally permanent so you know like with um, gilding wax you could heat it with a gun and you can move it around a bit with this you can't it's permanent it's lovely that it will just stay as it is um, so I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm just going to stencil just a, a tad on the side of um, this just get a little bit of the blue I've just smudged there but I don't care that's fine Ooh, Anne says in the States I haven't seen the black gesso oh have you not um, who who in the States um, supplies it Alfie uh, um, what's the scrapbooking company? let me just let me just uh, check Alfie's just checking for you Ooh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that gorgeous? I do like that. Let me just see whether I can get a second print out of this. Here's my rag. I've lost my rag. like that like it a lot that'll do right draw, close that drawer let's put these away so just random i know but scrapbooks by the sea in south carolina do have a stock of it there you go that's what i call service that's somebody i'll keep looking Okay, let's put that to one side to dry. Let's bring in some more recycled paper. Oops. So that's your gilding wax, which I love. And then let's bring in 
Now that paper that I've just made, that card, isn't quite dry. So I've got one that's already done and I've actually done both sides of it. And then I'm going to use my tag templates. I have to say I'm in love with these. They don't come with the book ring. I supplied that myself. Um, but you get... Mm -hmm. Can we get some black card? That's not big enough, okay. There we go. So, we have a giant size, normal size, medium and teeny. So, they are brilliant because yes, I have a die, but to be honest, how often do I get it out? By the time I've got it out, I could have just snipped one round here. So um, these are just fantastic. I love them to death. They are just so easy to use. It's just a case of grabbing your pencil, whizzing around the outside um, and chopping it up. Helen's um, asked, is gilding gum the same as gilding adhesive? No. No, it's not. No. Adhesive is um, an adhesive. It's a glue, whereas this uh, will bond to a surface, metal um, surfaces, everything else. But it is not an adhesive. You can't stick two things together with it. OK, I don't have my big scissors. So it's just super easy to just whiz around these with a, a trimmer. And you can just use a normal punch. I should have just eyeball that. And because um, you've got stacking, oops, that went off, off key a little bit. Um, and because we've got them all stacked, the tags, it means that you can actually mat and layer them as well. The Pickers Palace in Texas has also got black gesso. Excellent. I'll keep that. So we've got two lovely tags out of an A4 sheet you can fit four if you squash them together but yes so um this was pointed out to me really cleverly so i think if you draw around this and then on a separate piece of card you draw around that one they will be a couple of mil difference so or maybe just one or two mil yeah and that way you've got matting and layering as well so i love these um yeah i'm just using them all the time they're brilliant so thank you very much for those okay so um next thing we're going to decorate some of these and i've got plenty more to go at and i'm going to use i think we will go with this one this is what i started to do the other day so forgive me if you've seen this already and I'm going to use my Thin Lizzie's and it comes from Fleurs 3 so these are Fleurs 1, 2 and 3 are what I've hand drawn so they're sort of my little doodles um, <laughs> Caroline says she won't be going to Texas for her just so <laughs> why not it's a lovely place <laughs> give me an excuse <laughs> I'd come with you. <laughs> when Davy's golfing. No, not Carolyn making. Oh, it's not Carolyn, is it not? Oh, Caroline. Oh, Caroline. Sorry, Caroline. So um, I'm using those fine, my favourite. Um, and which way around does this need to go? Let me just double check. It is the right way. So I'm going to come slightly off the bottom. So Gail has asked, 
Can I ask if you sell a product that seals your paint? I've painted a tray with townhouse teal and want to seal it. Yes, you can use um, Slap It On Matte. That will seal it. And then just look at the end. I haven't cut right to the very end. So I'm just going to nudge it right up to the other one there. That's it. And I've just got a tiny weeny bit on the end there. That's good. Um, I'm also going to use some uh, clear super fine embossing glaze. Sorry, that's my phone that's annoying me. So Alfie's just going to turn the volume off so that I can't hear it. I know it won't annoy you either. Sorry about that. Um, yes, yeah, so super fine embossing powder because that way it seals in the ink um, and I don't have to wait for it to dry. And also it's really good for when I'm colouring in as well. I know, my pew pew gun is so quick. Um, I'm also going to, where's that scrap of paper that I kept? There we go. So I'm also going to um, clean this off and find some words. I think I'll have the, as the sun colours flowers, so does art colour life. So I'll go for that one. And that will be on, let me just have a look. It's, it's on one of these anyway. Fleur's number one. So Ildico's this can joined go. us. Hi, Eldco. There we go. And I can trim around that for later. And then let's get some paper out here. So let's use a little bit of ephemera and I love these there's just so much to use I think they work so well together so this one is from Fleurs 2 I'm going to use this one here and I love you print just be careful what what you're stamping over you don't want to be stamping over anything ooh Bodicea or Boudica I think we'll have her on there lovely okay so that's those and just to keep it in the same sort of theme, uh, style rather, let's just get all those done as well. Lovely. Excellent. So I've already cut those out as well. So those are going to go on here somehow. And then I've also done some of these as well. So let's get some washes out. Righty ho. So I've obviously got my palette here. Now, if you've not used Luscious before, um, I'll show you how you can mix them. So let's go with lemon sherbet. So you just need a, your brush to be wet. So get it nice and wet. Go straight into the powder with a wet brush. 
swirl it around and the powder will stick to the brush and then you just mix it in a palette and then add more water and a bit more water and then again stick it back in to the powder and add more and just mix it until you get the consistency of nice thick cream oh we would call that double cream so it's nice and creamy and just keep on doing that and adding a little bit of water to your brush until you've got a nice creamy consistency. So you can do that on a plate, you don't need a palette like this, you can do it on an old plate. But um, the lovely thing about um, these is because it's got a binder in and pigment, it will, and you just mix it with water, it will become a watercolour. So that way um, you can just leave it on the plate or on a palette, leave it to dry, put it in a drawer, and then next time you want to use it, um, it's all ready to go. All you need to do is just add a bit of water. So that's just super, super easy. And the reason why um, I like to stamp and clear emboss is because of this. Because you're mixing the luscious with water, it becomes a watercolour paint. And that means that it will resist all the areas where you have this clear embossing powder. Let me just, and you can see the lines are becoming visible again after being covered up. That's getting a bit thick, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water. There we go. So very pretty. And I'm just going to use the bottom of my brush to just dab into these colours so that I can just do little dots with my, the end of my brush. There we go. And that also means that I can do little dots on, on here as well and fill all these in. Which I love doing. Um, so, where should we go with, all oh right, so the blue here is Peacock. No, it's not. That's, that's that one. This one is Dragon's Eye. I don't know where that one's gone, but this one is definitely Dragon's Eye. Okay, so let's do a little Dragon's Eye one. So just for speed, I'm going to colour all of that in. And this is um, what we call a duotone, which means that I've actually put um, two major pigments in it. So this one's got blue, but I've also used... Um, a sort of goldy, bronzy colour along with it. So depending on how it hits the light. It is out of stock, that one, unfortunately. Is it? Has it gone out of stock? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I think we sold out on the telly the other day. Um, so do apologise. But we also have Peacock. Do we have no, any Peacock? No, sold out. Sold out. <laughs> Uh-oh always good to check these things before it, we start yeah well i just thought i'd use the same colors as the other day so um but i forgot that those were um sold out okay but we have lots of gorgeous colors let's put it that way <laughs> so should i use an orange then <laughs> i think this is um uh the pop one what's it called Pop out pink, no, this is just called orange. Have we got orange? Uh, he's looking, he's looking, bear with. Yeah, got that. Yay, we've got some orange, excellent. Okay, so I'll just finish these off because I think I probably need um, three of these. 
and I'll just do them all one colour and then um, what should we do let's do let's do some of these dots I will finish off these dots another time because you don't need to see me do all of this oh in fact I think I've got one no I haven't hadn't finished it so these are lovely to do I've always liked dots I don't know what it is I remember at college that I was doing a lot of um, pointillist paintings they used to take forever to do and it was made up of just dots um, right, so I'm just going to put some orange on top of this dragon's eye colour. So Fiona's just asked, what colour is the purple one to the left of the orange you've just used? Uh, the orange. Oh, this one. Mm. Um, Gretel. Um, let me just... Um... We have stock of Gretel. Yay, we have stock of Gretel. Excellent. And this is green apple that I've just done here. So let me... Um, I can't leave that like that. I have to put a colour on. Um, I know this is out of stock now, I'm sorry, that's Peacock. So can you see how I, I covered that with green apple and now it's pulled away? Which is great. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Right, so let's um, start putting this together. Low stock of green apple. Low stock. That's the trouble, people start buying it. Right, so I've actually stuck this to a couple of flowers, put some foam pads on, and I'm going to show you how to do this in a minute. So this is going to go about there. So let's have this here, there, and there, I think. Right, so oh, grab and go. Okay, so you only need a little smidge of this, not too much. Let's just pop that on there. Let's have a little smidgen of that up here. See, so be careful of these vintage papers okay there we go um, so this one um, you can see I like working in threes so I've got three of these there we go and I've just curled these up a little bit just so that you've got a little bit of interest So this one's going here. I don't really want to touch it in the middle because it's not dry. Just bend those up. Probably best waiting until they're dry. So okay. Julie, who's a newbie to mixed media, just asked how you did your palette. How did I make the palette? Yeah. Um, I don't know whether you saw the beginning um, of the show, but I basically used a wet brush, dipped it in water, and then straight into the powder, um, and then into the palette. Just move the palette up a little bit. That's it. And then into the palette, and then I did a bit more water with my brush until it, it mixes and becomes a nice creamy so you want it quite thick so wet brush into the palette into the powder 
okay until your brush is full of powder and then put it into the palette and it will be quite dry so you just need to add more water on your brush and the key to this is bit by bit okay and just mix it until you get a nice thick consistency and then when you're finished it will just dry out automatically and then the next time you use it you just um, you just add a little bit of water I mean I actually um, just use a spray on it a spray of water and um, this is a Tim Holtz palette and we do have them available on the website um, if you yeah, haven't got one. one I've put a link in the chat thank you you just show people the glue you're using just so so this is the grab and go I love this because um, we had it made because I wanted something to work really well when I'm making um, MDF items so I wanted it to grab really well um, stick something really heavy like MDF pieces um, and it's good for just things like this like flowers because it just grabs within a few seconds Um, and it's really really a strong glue as well you can get it in a small size but I use loads of it um, use it for everything it's really good it doesn't make your card buckle either which is important okay so let me just put that aside that's looking that's looking pretty okay I haven't finished those yet but I do want to um, make the border a little bit more um, interesting maybe a little bit grungier so I'm just going around the edge with a Stabilo all pencil okay it's uh, called Stabilo all and it goes on paper glass plastic metal the reason why I love it is it goes over everything so when I've got a painted surface you can still draw over the top with this um, and it even goes, as you can see, over the top of um, a, a surface that has been used with embossing powder as well. So it's really, really versatile and um, it, it's just brilliant. But the other thing is that, let me just get a brush. So I'm just going to use a small flat, get that nice and wet. And then you can pull pull out the colour because it's water soluble, which I love. Now I know that I have water soluble pencils, but those don't actually go onto all surfaces. They um they won't actually react on a lot of different surfaces, whereas these do. And it's great to actually draw with them as well. It's just and it just gives a beautiful soft smoky edge to your work as well so you can see love it love it love it love it so next thing right so I just want to show you um, let's get some more recycled paper with me here just put that to one side and I've got three tags here and I'm going to make a little book, show you how to make a little book. Okay, so we're going to fold the edge up to this point here, like so. And I'm just going to use a bone folder just to score that nicely, okay? So just up to the edge here and do that with each one. So you can just do it with three, but you can do it as many as you like. All right. And then Teresa says, if you use that pencil, is there a way of setting it so it won't react with water um, it 
because if you put um, Slapiton over the top it will react with the Slapiton. Just don't use this sort of pencil, just use a... Mind you, it won't go over the top, will it? I'd use, I'd use a Hosca if, if I didn't want it to actually move with, with water. Generally, yeah, I use it because it does react with water. Well, you could cool. actually put um, a spray over the top of it. That wouldn't that would set it and wouldn't um, wouldn't make it react with water. But I like the fact that it's so black as well. It's a proper black black. Okay, so now what we're going to do is open one up like this. fold it over and then this one is going to stick to the other one. Okay, so we start, I've got, sorry, I've got dirty hands. We start like this, fold it over and then the next one, so this is folded over, sorry you didn't see it properly. And then the next one is going to attach to there, like so. So let me do that again. So this is the first one, fold it over, and the next one, the blunt end is going to attach to there. Okay, so let me just put some grab and go on here. So open it. So that is going to go up to where the horizontal line of the tag is. Okay. And then that's going to fold over and the next one is going to come in here. Oh, let me just that's the one that I folded. All right, so the next one's going to come on here. Oh, the glue is um, non-toxic as well, and it's a nice squeezy soft bottle, so it's easy to use. So this one is going to come over here, and I notice I've cut this a little bit wide, but I can ease those up and then fold that one over. And then if you want to do another one, you can just carry on until, until you've got as many pages as you like. Okay, so the blunt end goes onto that like so and then just hold that in position for a few seconds and then fold that over. So I've got a few there that are just hanging over that edge so I would trim that with um, uh, my guillotine rather than a pair of scissors. Okay so now you have a little book to work with which is just so cute so I will show you what I've got here so far so I've got one here so I've already decorated one page okay and then I started to decorate this now if you remember that's what I did at the beginning of the show with the gilding gum Okay, and all I've done is just stamped this lovely little bud from Fleurs 4 from here and pop that on there. I will finish that off. And then, oh, that should be tucked in there. And then I'm going to bring this one in. So let's just fold this together. Is it all dry? Not quite. Not quite. Just dab that up. 
and it's probably best if I give that a blast. <laughs> I'm going to fold it the other way just so that I can see where it's going. Ah, there we go. Knew that was going to happen. Look at that. I've not put them in the right place because that one's going to, to bend. So I'm just going to rip that off and I'm just going to move that over. Hopefully I can cover up where I've made a mistake. There we go. That's good. Let's see what I can. There we go. Let's rip that off, and then let's re-glue that down. No, nope, I'm going to have to rip. Oh, I'm going to have to rip that one off too. Spot the mistake. So I should have put the um, fold in it before I started. Then I would have known where to put my flowers. Note to self do that next time. Okay, so now I can actually attach that to here. Like so. Still not. These are not dry yet. But those are. That's good. That's moved over. Let me just move those slightly. There we go. Okay. Those will fold over when that folds over. Okay, that's good. Alrighty, so we have one, two, three. Three pages on that one. And what I'd like to do is now with this one, I'm going to fold that all the way around to secure on the back. And that way it holds it all nicely together. So That is going to come round here. And you can see here where I haven't cut it to the right size. I've been a bit shoddy with that, haven't I? So I can trim that down with my guillotine. There we go. And I've also cut a piece of scrap paper that I'd stenciled another time to go on here just for decorative purposes. I thought that would look quite nice. So let's put that on. You can see a class coming on. Yeah, <laughs> who said that? I just did then. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I mean, this is such a lovely thing to do. And then just because it's under a lot of strain there, I'm just going to get uh, a, a ball clip bulldog clip there just to hold that in position now the front I'd like to do um, a B on here so um, this one is called Queen Bee Mini number 26 of the collector's edition so this is lovely this is so nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stamp onto a piece of card first of all and oh look at that look at the detail you get from it it's just to die for And again, some clear embossing powder. You can see I use this a lot. 
and I'm also going to stamp it on the front as well of here. Again, using my VersaFine. Okay, don't worry about it not being perfect. The important thing is I've got the legs and the tentacles um, because cutting out legs and tentacles is not a thing I'm good at. It's too, too fiddly for me. And you'll see, you'll see why. You'll see why. All will become clear. Okay, so let's get those heated off with the pew pew. <laughs> And then we're going to use our lovely luscious. Um, we're going to use the lemon sherbet for his body, which is beautiful. And let's use some really, really watered down blue. So let's see what this colour is here. Um, this is called Hansel, which is next door to Gretel, which is next door to Rapunzel, um, which is next door to, oh, oh, Pied Piper, which is next door to Puss in Boots. You can see a theme going on there, can't you? So just really, really washed out very 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 light blue for his wings her wings no his wings he's a boy bee a boy bumblebee and then as if by magic i've cut out his wings and body and that's going to go on here because then we have his wings coming up but you can still see his little legs and Alison and says she's new to your indigo blue community and so pleased to have found you. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Well, there are a nice bunch of people that, um, that we teach and we get involved in and the design team are amazing. They are so kind and so um, enthusiastic and they produce some really beautiful work to hopefully inspire you. So his little wings are coming up there. Jenny's asked, can we look forward to any more box magazines this year? <gasps> oh, well, yes, you can. We have a brand new box magazine coming out in June. So um, it's very, very soon. It won't be long before we actually start doing um, pre-orders with them because we only have a, um, a certain amount coming. So... Um, so yes, indeed, we will have that coming shortly. So I would keep that on really for a time being. Um, and then I need to finish that page and that page just needs that sticking down a little bit. And then you've got the back page too, but because everything is so wet, I'm just going to, um, what am I going to do there? Oh yes, I'll tell you what I wanted to do. I wanted to, can you see I've just done some little scraps here. I want to do a little scrap here as well. So let me just fold that up again. Just keep that on for a wee bit. And um, making little scraps is so much fun. Look, see, I do all these little, little bits and pieces. Um, I might just use one of these as well. Um, how about this sort of orangey or even just a coppery orange. Let's do a bit of coppery orange on there. 
Ildigo says, super exciting news about the box magazine. Yes, I know. It is It is exciting, actually. Long time coming, and it's the only one this year. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah. Um, we'll let you know. As soon as we have um, a definite date, we will most certainly be emailing you all um, to uh, look at the colour of this paper. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, we will be in touch with that. Um, what am I using here? I'm using one of my tearing rulers. I'm in love with this. I know I can tear paper, but when it goes off at an angle, I get really frustrated. Um, and this gives me a beautiful torn edge, but um, controlled torn edge. And I just love these lovely bits of paper that are just gorgeous. So let me just... Alexa, so she's watching on the telly. Got my order yesterday. Oh, great. Hi, Jeanette. Off tomorrow and can't wait to play with those new stencils. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, you'll love them. They are really good to different to play with they're lovely um does that need anything else does it what have i got on my table let's have a look at some scraps um oh i've got a scrap of tiny tiny scrap of fabric will do so this is the lovely thing you can just use whatever's on your table and because it's a bit of silk, I'm not going to wet that with glue. I'm just going to... Have I got my... Staple? There we go. Let's just put a few... Let's put a little kiss on. There we go. I just love making tiny little scraps out of lovely little bits of lace and buttons and... I know. Slightly weird, but I know you get me. So, um, yes, let's have that. Let's have that here, shall we? That would be nice. So let's just... Oh, turn your glue on. Turn your glue on. There we go. Yeah, I think... That's a good idea, Alfie. I think I might do a little tag book, mm -hmm. but I think I might put lots of textures in it and maybe bits of fabric and stuff like that. I think we could do with more here, don't you? Karen says you need to sell the small stapler. Uh, yeah. I don't know whether they still make it actually. I'll have to find out. I've had mine years. There we go. So, see, it does, does really change it, doesn't it? This definitely needs to go on the back here. Karen says no, they don't. <laughs> Do they not? Okay, that's a that's a project to find a it? tiny stapler. Oh, that. Yeah, it was made by um, Ranger. Mm. Okay, and then let's have a piece of sorry. That can go through here. I think I might get a button or something and let's just wrap it round. Maybe get a yeah, a little button or something to wrap it all up. It could be a lot more attractive, more things sticking out. Um, but yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. It needs all trimming up, I think. Um, yeah, and that needs that needs a little bit of colour, doesn't it, around the edge here? Just so that each page, you know, fits in together, I think. Okay, where's my 
brush there we go wet brush and just pull that in There we go. Okay, it's coming together. We're nearly there. Yeah, um, I think just knees trimming off, definitely. This needs the cover doing, doesn't it? Let's take that out of the way for a moment. Um, yeah, I think a nice button actually would um, would go down a treat with this. Okay, let's just wet this a little bit around here, first of all, before we actually touch that edge. And then if I go up to the edge, then that'll, that'll run. Went it. Yeah, let's wet all of that and then get that nice and wet. Alison says, Can you use the pencil with a gel medium to colour the gel? Uh, can you use it with a gel medium to colour the gel. Um, I'd just try it. Um, yeah, I guess you could, because gel medium's wet, so that's going to um, that's going to work. So I'd say, yeah, just try it. Just try it with a tiny bit. Would have looked better if I'd left it just to dry naturally, but um, I might go over that anyway. So there we have our lovely little tag book. Yeah, let's just trim that off, and then that will be it. Let me just go and trim that off. Just talk to them, Alfie, while I can trim that off. Just talk to them. Hello, Tell everyone. Tell them about. Uh, tell them about the giveaway. The giveaway. Yeah, you're giving me away twenty five pounds, oh, aren't yeah. you? So um, I'm just thinking what people can do on um, Facebook. I think if you can, obviously on Facebook, you can um, like, comment, and share. But on, in YouTube, if you can um, like and share, um, I'm not sure if you can like on. YouTube so maybe just comment and share but we will include you obviously in the draw and then um, three people who do that will be chosen picked out of a hat um, to win a 25 pound voucher for use on the website cool lovely thank you very much mm. okay I'm faffing now um, but don't we all like a little bit of faffing uh, and I'm going to leave this this time to um, just run and dry naturally rather than blasting it with a with my supersonic pew pew gun. Okay, yes, there we are. <laughs> D says stop. Yeah, there we are. That's it. Enough. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining me i've had um a lovely time and um we might not see you next week but we'll definitely see you the week after we might try and do a little um in situ 
um, live for you next week but we can't promise it definitely won't be Wednesday at eight o'clock it might be some odd time during the day um, but we will definitely see you in two weeks time so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and share or if you're on YouTube um, the little bell and um, and see you all very very soon bye for now